Good morning. This is Dr. Artis. I'm coming to you live this morning. I there's seven of my favorite stretches for people that sit too much. And so this is very important because I get a lot of questions a lot of times. Doc, what can I do? I'm working from home on Zoom calls, all these things. These are my seven favorite stretches for people to sit too much. One of the most common things that we do is we start to slouch like this. And the way that you counterbalance that, the number one stretch is what we call a chest stretch. You want to put your hands behind your shoulders and you want to bring your arms back like that. And you want to just stretch it out. You want to hold for probably about four to five seconds and do about 10 to 15 of them. The second one is a lateral stretch of the neck. Bringing that head over to one side, bring it to the other side. You're holding it for probably about two to three seconds on each side. So you got number one, the chest stretch, and you got the lateral stretches of the neck because you want to make sure that that's loose. A lot of people that might be a little difficult, you don't want to pull too hard. You want to pull nice and gently because you might cause something to shift. The uh, third stretch that I want to show you is no more what we call back extension. You want to take and you want to reach all the way back reaching it back. So what I'm doing is I'm actually extending all the way back and I can feel it and I'm holding that for about three to four seconds. Fourth one that I got for you is trunk rotation. So where I'm sitting and I'm twisting, holding it, sitting, twisting, holding the other side. And then I want you to go towards the hips. The hips tend to tighten up a lot for people to sit a lot. You want to cross one leg over and you want to bend forward like that. Like so you can feel the hips open up. Obviously, if you do one side, you want to do the other side. Again, you're doing about 10 to 15. You're holding it for two to three seconds, bending forward, holding it just like that. And then we also have two more left. So we got number uh, six is a hamstring stretch. You wanna stretch that leg all the way out like so, and then you wanna lean forward. And what that looks like is that leg is all the way out and I'm leaning forward and I can feel the hamstring stretch in the back of my leg. And then one of the things that people forget about the most, they always talk about their back and they talk about their neck, is you gotta think about the wrist. A lot of times, I see people that drive trucks or people that actually sit behind computers and type all day. And one of the things that tighten up are their wrists. And then they start complaining about carpal tunnel. So two wrist stretches that you could do combined into one, which is the wrist. You got extension, you got flexion and you got extension and you want to hold those. So I'm actually uh, extending my wrist back and holding it for about three to four seconds. And then I got extensions. Those right there will actually save you a lot of tightness. It'll save you a lot of discomfort. It'll help you on your journey to being healthier. So number one, again, I'll go back and recap this again. We got the chest stretches, the chest tends to tend forward like this. You wanna bring that back, those arms back and stretch. If you can interlock your fingers, you can interlock those, bring that head back, hold it back, and you can feel that stretch in the neck and in the shoulders. Then we also have what we call the, uh, the lateral bends for the head, where the head is leaning to the side. Lean to the other side, right? Holding, again, two to three seconds. I would say 10 to 15 reps. And then we have back extension. The fingers are interlocked, and I'm extending all the way back, and I'm holding it. Then we also have trunk rotations. One side right here, uh, stuff like that. Now, you might hear a popping sound in a lot of those, especially dealing with the spine. All that is is just air being released out of the joint. It's not an adjustment. It's just air being released out of the joint. It actually relieves a lot of pressure, which could be good. Then we got one thing you want to do is want to open the hips up. Again, we're crossing the legs over, bending forward, holding it. If you can bend as far as you can all the way down, that's really good. That means your hips are probably not as tight. And then we got the hamstring, bending forward, trying to touch that toe. If you can't touch your toe, you want to kind of do that. Also, we got this uh, flexion of the wrist and extension. Really good for keeping the wrist and the forearms loose. Now with those right here, you might not be able to do them. There are modified versions of it. If you would comment on this video, you like and share, that would be uh, beneficial. And then what I recommend doing that is twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. And then if, if you also feel your body tightening up at some period of time. And keep in mind, it's not good to sit for long periods of time. It's really horrible on the core and it can destroy the body. And so what we want to do is keep everything loose and where it flows fully. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Thank you.